Hi, my name is Patrick. This is a series of videos basically to help you to crack the CET examination. Now, this particular video is to tell you one thing that may help you to increase the score by a maximum amount in the last days, whatever days are left. Technically, your scores cannot improve with uh, practice. Not too many days left for practicing and improving. You must have tried all the strategy in a mock, so that may also not help you improve your score. So what it is that in the last few days that you can do that could help you improve, improve your score? My basic advice is just relax. Don't take CT very seriously. Okay, now this may sound you know, not very good advice, but let me give you my own example and maybe a couple, some examples as well. I remember when I was giving the CT examination for the first time, the, the, the year which I got to Bajaj. Uh, for MBA. So I used to write a mock test, okay. a series of mock tests which was there conducted by a small class. There were hardly 100, 200 people, 200 people writing the mocks. Okay. And I used to barely make it to top 10. I mean, I was just outside the top 10 always. That means in that whole mock test series of 200 people, there were 10 people better than me. 10 people exactly better than me. And I was beyond the top 10. Which means, if I talk about the whole CT, people writing the CT exam, there would be many, many people better in me. Let's be very clear. Many people who would be better with regards to CT as compared to what I was. So that was my preparation level. I'm not saying it was bad, okay, but it was that was my preparation level. That was my level before CT. So technically, since I only wanted JBIMS, I had given up saying that not possible. Like beyond 10 people out here, only there are many better in me. There will be more number of people better than me and there are very few seats in Bajaj. So I didn't have any hope for Bajaj. So I had given up hope saying that, chill, let me go, give my best. Not that I will not prepare, I will give my best, but I will give my cat next year. That's what the whole idea was. So I was more relaxed as far as the exam is concerned. I didn't bother. I slept late in the night doing whatever I wanted. I prepared. I am not saying I didn't prepare, but my preparation level were not very serious. I said I will go and give my best. But let me just relax as far as possible. So in the night before the exam also I slept very late. My exam was in the morning and I slept almost at 2 o'clock. Okay, got up in the morning at 6 o'clock, hardly 4 hours sleep and went for the exam. I mean, that was my series. Not that I was preparing, no. I was watching a movie till 2 o'clock. Okay, and then that's what I did. But when the results came out, I was all India ranked 3 in a CT exam. I myself was shocked. I mean, how is it possible? It not that I had great hopes for the CD. But then I realized that that whole aspect about being relaxed in the examination, not having great expectation, but just going there and doing my best definitely helped me. I mean, I had a strategy in place. I went to the exam, followed the strategy and came out without too much of expectation. Because my mind was free and not stressful, I was able to think better in the examination and therefore maybe I did better. I have one more example. I mean, I remember a time, this few years back, some years back, when I had gone to give a company secretary exam. So I was giving a day at foundation, inter and final. So inter, I had registered for both the groups and a lot, I mean, a lot of books and a lot of things to study. I had no hopes on that. Morning of the exam, the exam was in the afternoon, both the groups or whatever the group was there. Morning of the exam, I slept. I said that I'm giving up, I'm not giving the exam, not my cup of tea. But then I said, no, let me get up. Let me go and just give the exam. What will happen maximum? I'll fail. Okay, let it fail. Let me just go and give the exam. Okay. So in the last moment, I decided to go and give the exam and I cleared both the groups. And the one attempt. And again, shocked. But I think that whole aspect about, you know, not taking the exam seriously helped me relax, helped me recollect whatever I learned maybe. And that maybe helped me write the exam better. So it helps to some extent. I mean, if you relax a bit, Okay, it helps to maybe think better in the exam and since the aptitude examination is more of a thinking based exam, it definitely helps to perform better. So my suggestion is if you are a person who is you know, banking on CT too much, chill. look out for backup options. Look out for options what are there. Okay, if not CT, what else can you do? Can you give CAT that's coming up or can you give CT that will come later on or can you do something else that is there? What are the options that you have? Think about it and work on the options right now. I mean, don't take CAT very seriously right now. It could backfire. Write the exam with all your efforts, with proper strategy and everything, but look out for backup options now. And that will help you to relax with regards to your mind 
and maybe perform better in the examination. I hope that advice helps. Thank you.